going to show you the recipe for fate kidding chicken and you can flavour it with any herbs and spices that you like but in this case I'm going to show you how to make the Cajun chicken uh, which is one of our favourites to be honest. In this bowl I've just weighed 250 grams of the fake low protein all purpose mix and to that you just want a bit of basic flavouring which is salt and you want about a teaspoonful of that and a little bit of black pepper And then I'm going to add some onion granules and you want about two teaspoonfuls of these. Add that to the bowl, the all-purpose mix. And then some oregano, dried oregano. You want a better teaspoonful and a half of that. And then of course, because they're going to be Cajun chickens, we're going to add some Cajun spice. And to this basic mixture, you're going to add about five teaspoonfuls. Right. Now just give that a stir around. Just until all the spices are blended in. Now prepare your liquids. Take a jug and add about two tablespoons of tomato puree. I'm going to need two hands to do this. Put that into the jug. And then you want to measure about 50 mils of oil. And I'm just using vegetable oil here, but you can use any oil you like. Up to the 50 mark. Put that into the jug with the tomato puree. And then you want some cold water. And then you want to measure 200 mils. Add that to the jug and just use the spoon just to give it a stir so the tomato puree gets blended in. And just take a balloon whisk, throw in all those liquids to get them once all at once and just give it a good mix. What you're trying to make actually is a nice thick batter. Make sure all the dry ingredients are mixed in. It should be quite smooth. You can almost start now to feel it thicken. So that's that's about ready. I'm just going to get rid of the whisk. And into that I'm going to stir in 200 grams of grated carrot. And that's it, nice and easy. It's ready for cooking. Now for cooking, you just want to place the pan onto heat. You don't need to add any oil at all, unless you know your pan sticks, but this will be fine, I'm sure. And just take a large tablespoon of your Cajun kid and chicken mixture, put that into the pan, and it should start to sizzle. And then on the side, have ready a, pa uh, a pot of water large spoon and just spread it 
to about one centimetre thick. Doesn't matter about what shape you make, doesn't matter at all, it'll still, still taste nice, whatever shape you make. I think that's probably about it. And in this pan, I think I'm going to do two. So another spoon for the mixture here. That spoon again, just to get it spread to about one centimetre thick. And then you just leave those on a nice gentle heat for about two minutes. But if you like, before you leave them to cook, just sprinkle them with a little bit of extra spice while the tops are still still wet. Now I think these are ready for turning now. Use a fish slice just to turn them out, help you turn them over. Yeah, that's lovely. Now don't be alarmed because they are a little bit dark. That's exactly how you want them. Because they are Cajun chicken. That's lovely. Just leave them like that now for about another two or three minutes. You may need to turn your heat down just slightly, just so they cook gently on all the way through. When they're almost cooked, you can just add a cut piece of fresh lemon into the pan just to blacken and soften. That will give you a lovely flavour to the Cajun, Cajun chicken. So these are cooked now. I'm just going to take a fake sea batter roll. Nice and frosty. You can see nice and soft inside. I'm just going to take kidding chicken. And you can add a little bit of mayonnaise if you like, that would be good. And I've got a piece of the lemon. Here, and that's lovely just squeezed over and then a few sweet potato fries if you like and that's absolutely delicious that's fate kid in chicken just an idea you could make small kid in chicken nuggets Simply place teaspoonfuls of the mixture into the pan, flatten slightly with a wet spoon, sprinkle on more of the Cajun spice. Cook gently for a minute or two on each side. Meanwhile, sprinkle a little olive oil onto some sliced courgette, French beans and sliced green pepper. Add to a hot griddle pan for a couple of minutes until cooked but not too soft. Turn occasionally. Place them on top of some lettuce Add the Cajun nuggets, add a little of your favourite dressing, serve with fate bread. Fate kidding chicken nuggets with a green vegetable salad.